Hi guys, this is Simmer Down, aka Selena, and we are back with the Perry family. Um, and in the last part, there was some catastrophic news um, that there was possibly some abuse going on with um, Kyla, which is. Damien's daughter with Melinda and so I did go and edit this room to make room for her to come and live here because I think that that is what so what is the right thing to do um that household right now is very um unstable and just not where a child should be growing up and how they should be growing up she's kind of afraid of that man and um, she just feels very uncomfortable there and I think all children should feel comfortable so I he's a detective so he's been doing some dirt on this guy this guy has a shady past and it's kind of a shady guy to begin with so he just really really wants his daughter out of that household and in with him and safe and you know he made this beautiful room and he went you know picked out her a bed to match her sisters and you know that they can be together and you know um, when I was little, um, we had this, uh, back deck and on the back deck was like my toys and stuff. So we played on like the deck. It was like a covered porch kind of thing. And at my friend's house, we also, she also had the same thing. She had a dollhouse set up out there. So this is kind of more like her setup because I didn't really have a dollhouse out there I just had a couple toys and you know I'd sit out there and play but she had it kind of just like this where she had all of her setup was out on the back porch um I don't really remember playing out there in the winter so may I don't think it was like a weatherized porch but um I do remember like it we used to play there when it was raining and we didn't want to, you know, run around tag and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I always wanted to be on her porch playing, but, you know, sometimes they forced me to run around, which I didn't like too much. But, you know, that goes with being um, disabled and not being very agile like the rest of the kids I played with. But anyway, so I set it up like this um you know I gave them a little tea party set and the dollhouse and all that came out here so that we could make space for Kyla's bed so I think what's going to happen or what should happen I'm gonna let this play um what should happen is um I think Damien should go over and try to talk to them um, reason with them and, you know, let them know, hey, this is, you know, not trying to step on your toes or anything, but, you know, come, not come across as I'm taking her, but more come across as, um, it will be beneficial for both parties to... I hope she's not in a really bad mood. Well, she's kind of tired. Um, from... Why did I see a baby hold up? Okay, so she... Okay, she's, she has to go to work today. It's saying, like, family leave for her having the baby. Um, so everybody's got to work today. But, um... What was I saying? Oh, I feel like he should come across 
as more like, let me help you out. Let me take her and, you know, give you more, first of all, more space in your house. Um... She's going to wait and see. She don't really care about boys, but, um, she don't care about boys and that's, um, EA, you know, she don't care about boys. Okay. Anyway, um, so what was I saying? Um, yeah, it'll be like more beneficial to them to just let him, you know, like almost like Melinda should be asking for them to take her, you know, kind of deal. Um, so I'm going to see if that works out first. And then if not, then we should go, we'll have to go like the legal way. Because I definitely, you know, I'm a detective. I'm not going to kidnap her, just snatch her or anything. We'll have to go the legal way and get her to live with us that way. So that is the plan. Um, hire a repair service so you can eat your cheesecake. Um, finish your cheesecake and then I want you to cook what, oh, clean up whatever that is. I thought we could cook it, but we can't, so we'll clean it up. Clean up this messy house, because it's a mess. I don't know why she puts her dirty dishes under there. Just, I don't know, but she seems to do that a lot. Um, yeah, so when he gets home from work, hopefully he won't be too exhausted to go over and possibly have a conversation with um, Melinda and baby girl is so tired she's gonna come in here and totally come and knock out get some rest because she's so tired yeah it's like we went from twin boys in this room to it's gonna be like twin girls but they're not twins but um, it's going to be like twins, having twins. Um, she is going to call her sister when she gets up. And, all right, dad's home. So let's see how he is doing. Oh, he's really tired. I'm going to let him take a quick, like, nap on the couch really quick before we go. And probably a quick shower, like a brisk shower before we go. So he's not like super sink and whatnot. And then we will travel. All right. So we can, we're back tired, but you know, it shouldn't be a long conversation that we're going to have anyway. So we're going to head on over there and um, we'll take Ellie with us because... Um, I don't want to leave her home. Oh, mom was home. Darn it. I didn't see her back there. That's okay. That's, that's all right. Um, that's okay. She can, like, keep Kyla company and, like, away from the conversation so that, um, she doesn't brighten her day. And then we'll go inside. I've not been invited inside. All right, there we go, I can go in now. Um, we're gonna have her come and use the bathroom. And then where is, there's Melinda. Okay, we are going to discuss interests. And we'll enthuse about interest, and then we need to um, 
express fine. Okay, this dude is OC. Do you see? Like, he comes in and just gets in the bed. Like, what in the world? Um. Okay, um, so this guy, we are going to debate a game strategy, like, um, and then we are going to ask him to, um, well, actually, no, we're not going to go into mean quite yet. I still want to... Ask like nicely. Let's compliment her appearance. And why is he so mad? Okay, this dude is like, we're just gonna like go into it if he doesn't chill. Like, I don't know why he's so mad. He's like mad. Um, let's share a secret with her. We'll ask about her day. Um, what else can we do? Express admiration. So I'm just... Whoa. Is she pregnant? Um... It looks like she's pregnant, you guys. How do you ask someone if they're pregnant? Oh my god, I think she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Oh my lord. Okay. Yeah. Definitely, 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 definitely you need to get Kyla out of here. I didn't impregnate her, I don't think. Um... Jeez, um, how do we tell if we, if we're the dad? I don't even know we could possibly be the dad to this child, which would be crazy. Um, or there, he's the dad, one or the other. Um, I guess we'll have to wait it out and see. Yikes. But she's definitely pregnant. Her belly was really, really out there. Um, so I'm going to call it a day. I don't think she is going to just let us have Kyla, it looks like. Um, and this guy definitely didn't seem like he was too interested in it either. And so I'm going to have them go home. And we'll have to find other means to get custody of our daughter. You know, it just, that's it. We'll have to find other ways to get custody. Look at her. She's like outside at 1230 in the morning, outside, just chilling. She could be, she should be in bed, but she doesn't have a bed, so she can't go to bed. It, the, the situation's insane. And something needs to be done. So, I am going to go to sleep. And in the morning, something has to be done. I, I can't let her go another day with being not taken care of. There's no reason why she should be out at... 12.30 in the morning outside while they're inside sleeping not giving an F what you know she's doing I, no way Ellie is sound asleep 
at 12 30. not that he's a perfect person because he's not and I keep saying like that he's not perfect but there's some things that he just there's no way that another baby in that household is going to fit with Kyla there it's just it's not gonna happen not on my watch it's not not on Damien's watch he's not he that's one thing that he did with having all of these children is that he checked on them and made sure that, you know, their needs were being met. I remember him going to their houses and, you know, giving them bottles when they were babies and, you know, changing their diapers and, you know, making time at each, per each shot, you know, giving each child you know, his undivided attention and, you know, making them grilled cheese sandwiches and all that when they were kids and cookies. I remember him going over there and baking them cookies. Do you guys remember that? Um, and like, so he always had their best interests, you know, at heart. Like he always... That's why they didn't li all live with him because he knew that he couldn't give them everything that their moms could give them at that time. You know, if he, you know, tried to stay with one of the moms and took all the other kids, you know, in and it, it was just best leaving each shot, each set of twins with their mother and then giving them each time, if that makes any sense. Um, in their teenage years, yes, he did, he did, he did slack a little bit on, you know, getting to know them and building relationships with them and whatnot, but I, overall, I think he's a really good dad and, you know, yeah, I think he's, I think he's great. So, yeah, we're almost to morning and in the morning I'm going to definitely make sure that things change for Miss Kyla. And I'm going to get his sleep bar all the way up. And yeah, she should cook. Um, cook a gourmet meal. Um, fruit and yogurt parfait. Let's make a eight person. Cause we're gonna have a new little girl here later. Um, Ellie needs to go to school shortly. She's gonna have some breakfast and then she's going to go to school. Okay, and dad's got work, so he's gonna. So mom's gonna have to handle this one. Um, she's gonna have to go over there. Actually, you know what? Dad's going to call in. Yeah. He's definitely going to call in today. And he's just not feeling good. Um, take a vacation day. Oh, no, no, no. Take a vacation day. Yeah. And... Okay, can I turn it, change into my work uniform? Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna have him travel over to their crib with Giselle. A united front. Okay, he's tense and Go ahead, baby girl. Here, talk to her. Um, call her over. All right. So, you need to vent to her exactly what is going to complain about the problems. And 
he's going to definitely break up with her. Definitely, because she's totally pregnant. And I highly doubt he, that he's the dad. And... Him be the girl you were supposed to. So we got a picture. What the easy, my easy? That wall is irritating. Okay, what the heck? My there's some serious lag going on in my game right now. Okay. So, oh, and this is going to be like he's telling her that baby girl is going to live with us, and I have court order, and I'm taking her. So, you're going to have to, like, deal with that. Um, ask baby's due date. Or she's, um, yeah. Um, what else? So, she doesn't want to cause drama. Um, I was thinking... For her to argue with her, but I, I, I don't think it's necessary or whatever. But I am going to let him know about himself. So I am going to um, insult him. I'm going to insult him and, you know, let him know he is a piece of garb. And he's. I'm sure he's still unemployed. And just like... You know, living here unemployed is just, I really don't like him. I don't think he is a man right now. I think he's just ill. Sorry, guys. Trying to get a s another screenshot here. Um, let's do walls. Yeah, there we go. Look at Damien's face. He looks enraged. He looks like a psycho. Um, oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Why are you, why is he sad? No, that, that needed to end. You're not sad about that. Um, let's throw a drink in his face and insult him. And yell at and insult I, I kind of want to I kind of want to fight this guy I kind of want to kick his butt um, I kind of do imply his mother is a llama I'm really 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 okay so that's that's that he doesn't want to fight I figured he wouldn't you know he's kind of Uh, I'm not even gonna go there. He's he's not he's not a man. He's 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 less than a man. So by the end of the day, um, they will have to uh, relinquish baby girl. So I'm gonna end this part right here. I'm gonna let him go cry this out, and you know mourn I guess for the loss of Melinda because she's kind of um 
what is the word, lost at this point, like, not really mourning the relationship, because, you know, he has Giselle, and he's not really worried about having a side piece anymore, he's grown up, and I, I really, I'm so proud of where they've come, like, how far they've come, um, but, as I said, he's, like, mourning the fact that she's so far gone in her, she's so wrapped up in that relationship that she ultimately did things that, you know, got her child taken, their child taken from her, you know, and I've seen this happen a bazillion times, women putting men before their children and whatnot, whatnot, you know, and it's, it's, this is a classic case of that happening right here. Um, she used to be a really good mom and then something just went awry. She, she met this man and she's letting everything kind of go, you know, putting everything else on the back burner, getting pregnant at this point with her fourth child and both of them being unemployed. That That's just mind boggling. Having a two bedroom with four children. It's, it's mind boggling that she thinks that this is okay. So he's going to cry out the fact that, you know, she's, she's lost. She's, there's really no way, excuse me, hey, <coughs> oh, excuse me, thank you, anybody that said bless you, thank you, um, oh, it's gonna happen again, hold on, <coughs> bless me, thank you, okay, um, jeez, I'm getting, like, allergies or something, okay, but, like I was saying, um, Okay, I'm not going to keep on rambling about it. But yeah, so that's what where he's at. She's like, he's kaputz. He doesn't really want to talk to her anymore. He doesn't really want to have a relationship with her anymore. He just kind of wants to get his daughter and not really deal with Melinda ever again. You know, and he would love, love, love to make some extra money and have Hillary also come and live here because... Hillary is stuck in that situation and that guy I don't you know I don't put it past him to you know be um some type of way with Hillary now now that now that I've wanted to fight him and you know I, I don't know I don't put anything past this guy and Melinda is making the wrong choice not you know, putting him out, getting rid of him, you know, she's choosing to let him stay and actually to, you know, let this happen. She, she let this happen. So yeah, so that's where we're at in the next part. Kyla will be here and yeah, we can start moving on, moving along with our lives and moving past this and Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed um, this little or this LP. I hope you're enjoying it and if you are be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Also to share the video um, to get it out there to more people which is helpful to me and I love you bunches for it. Um, you can follow me on my social media. Um, I do want to throw out there that um, Trill, tr Trill, she said I call her Trill, so I think it's like Trillic, Trilly. I will link um, her Sims resource page um, in the description and then her Tumblr also in the description because she is doing like outfit of the day um like outfit of the day posts on tumblr and 
I'm totally gonna jump on the bandwagon with that and also do that. I think it's so much fun. I um, get CC like all the time, like new CC all the time. And it'd be nice if I could show you guys more because I only do showcase and shopping videos every, you know, twice a week or something. Not twice a week. Every two weeks or so, I'll do one of those videos because, you know, you can't really, you got to stock up a little bit. And, and I have to stay off of getting CC in order to do the shopping videos, so... I have to be either really busy and not able to do it or, yeah, that's pretty much the only way that that happened. So, I figured out a way to get more, like, looks and stuff out there to you guys is to just do um, the outfit of the day on my Tumblr page. So, I'll do, like, two or three models that will be one of them each day will be sporting a new look so you guys please go and follow me on tumblr because that's where you will see the outfit of the day posts by me every day so look out for that i love you guys and i will see you in the next part of whatever i make bye guys